I'm building a healthy beauty company in Silicon Valley because I felt I wanted to do something important, right? That I was uniquely authentic uh, to build it, right? You know, I was incredibly frustrated that, you know, I couldn't find products that worked for me, right? Where I felt respected as a consumer uh, and I felt that needed to change. Uh, and Walker and Company really exists to make health and beauty simple for people of color. Bevel is the first and only end to end shaving system designed specifically for men and women with coarse curly hair, uh, prone to things like shaving irritation, razor bumps, etc. Uh, so, you know, Bevel completely is a, cl a clinically proven solution to completely and fundamentally eradicate this issue uh, for both men and women. We're excited about uh, not only the efficacy promise, uh, but, you know, the excitement that our customers have for the product overall. I got a, an email from a, a woman who said, you know, thank you, Tristan, for finally having a product to help single moms teach their sons how to shave, right? You know, that's a little bit of my story. I didn't have a father to teach me how to shave the right way. It almost made me want to cry, right? A gentleman just a couple weeks ago, uh, he said, Tristan, for 15 years, I've been donning a beard to work. Uh, out of fear of using some of the mass marketed products that exist out there, and I feel like it's limited my career advancement. Right, that's crazy, right? Uh, thank you for finally having a product that works. Like that's those are the only stories we need to hear uh, to know that we're onto something fairly significant. So I didn't know about Silicon Valley until I was 24, right? Uh, and that's a problem. Um, you know, one thing a lot of folks talk about in Silicon Valley when they think about the diversity issue is they talk about the access problem. Right, so not enough folks um, kind of going through the pipeline in the way that they should to know about Silicon Valley. But what I talk a lot about is the, just the awareness problem. The fact that I had no idea that Silicon Valley existed is just a very, very big issue. You know, when I was growing up, you know, I knew I wanted to be an actor and an athlete, and I knew I wanted to work on Wall Street because there were archetypes that I wanted to aspire to, to be like. Uh, in Silicon Valley, there were none, uh, and I'd still argue that there still are none, <laughs> right? Uh, we have a lot of work to do to really um, kind of build and create those archetypes to inspire a generation of folks to want to, you know, really participate out here in a big way. We've been very blessed and fortunate to have a really great team of folks who are great leaders, uh, incredibly diverse, uh, majority minority culture, majority woman, uh, again, all fantastic leaders who inspire me every single day. Uh, and that's been great for us, a really great comparative advantage because our, our employee base really reflects the customers we want to serve, right? And you know, there's no shortage of research out there to suggest that more diverse teams leads to higher profits, right? Uh, and that's something that we recognize in a very big way. Um, and it's worked well for us, uh, not only culturally, um, but also it's just good for business. My wife and I were blessed with a uh, child 11 weeks ago, and he is the greatest thing to happen to both of us. Uh, and when I think about the, the future that I want to kind of lead for him, you know, I really want him you know, to do two things. Number one, be treated as a consumer on equal footing with other consumers, not a second class citizen, but a, you know, a equal, right? Uh, and secondly, really inspire him to know that he can produce right, on equal footing with, with other folks as well. Uh, you know, if, if I can do that, right, we will know that I think uh, we've done something pretty important for the world, right? Because if we can do it for him, we can do it for a hell of a lot of folks.